Hello, many of you are familiar with the MK802 line of uh, Android 4.0 mini PCs. Well, there's a new, new unit that's come on the market, and uh, we're going to try it here live. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is to show you that the screen is set up. I have an MK802 already set up, USB port, an HDMI connection, and a, uh, a keyboard setting. Okay, and I have that plugged into a, a standard monitor. Uh, on the back I have HDMI connection port and a USB port to power it up. Okay, so what we're going to do is try to open this up live in one shot and see, and see uh, what's in here. Because up till now there's no videos on the internet posted of this. So we, we are in the unknown as much as everybody else is. Okay, and we are envy this stuff at gmail.com also envy this stuff dot com so let's see what we have here okay this unit is interesting because uh, the manufacturer is claiming that it's double the Antutu scores that the MK802 has there's two there's three flavors of the MK802 um, one but 512 gigabyte and 4 gigabyte u end user RAM. Uh, the other has 1 gigabyte and there's a newer unit out now too. Um, this one will have 1 gigabyte of the DDR3 plus 4 gigabyte of the RAM as well. So let's see what we have in here. This is claiming speeds up to 1.6 gigahertz, which is why it gets imp the, the impressive. Uh, and two two scores that the manufacturer is claiming. This is the first we're seeing this ourselves. There's a lot of questions about this unit, so we're trying to answer these and also get this video shot in one swoop, so it doesn't look like we're pulling any smoke and mirrors. Okay, this is the new unit. The Android phone put on mini PC as well. Okay, we have two samples to test out. Okay, let's 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 see what's in the box. Okay, there's no writing on the back. Okay, we all know the MK802 family has lots of heat-related problems, so uh, this thing is filled with holes. Uh, the manufacturer claims between the firmware and other other things in the hardware. Uh, if you notice, compared to it, it's slightly larger as well. Okay, and it has enough holes all over the place to give it room to breathe. Uh, they also claim because some of the things are in different locations that it's better off. So this this is what comes in here. Okay, let's open up the second one. Okay, so we have two units. They come in a number of colors. Okay, here's two of the colors. Okay, this is slightly different. The MK802. Um, has the HDMI port coming through a mini connector. On these units, the HDMI port is, is built into it. So if we plug that into my monitor uh, and also give it switch switch to power port, uh, we hope to have an interesting experience. So let's let's try that. Okay, before I do that though, because I don't know exactly what's in the box myself, let's see what's in here. Okay, the first box comes with a uh, a USB to uh, mini USB. And the second box comes with the same. Uh, the manufacturer uh, in emails to us says that um, they're going to clock it at 1.2 because most monitors like this, if, I, if you notice, as I said, I have a USB port in there, can only output 0.5 amps. So uh, that interferes with, with the functioning of, of this because uh, you can put a, a charger into it up to 2 amp, but most um, are, are not going to accept that. 
So it seems we have a USB port, an SD card slot, the HDMI port, um, and a USB port. Okay. So let's try to give it a whirl. Um, I'm going to unplug the USB. I'm going to keep it hanging off the HDMI. Hopefully. So if I plug this one in, into my second port, let's get rid of this cable because that isn't needed anymore. Okay, so that goes into there. Okay, we'll plug it into here. Okay, it seems to have a different connector, so let me use the one that came with it. So this is being labeled by some as the MQ MK802 killer because the scores are so much higher. And the reason for that is because um, it has a dual core as well as a quad GPU. The MK802 is a single core and a single GPU. So this, this has a dual core and a quad GPU. Okay, it's not known at the moment if it runs Linux and lots of stuff about the unit are still not known. So this is a, a trying experience. Uh, for many of you who contacted the Rico Magic Company, uh, there's lots of lack of information. And this unit seems to be no different. Okay, seems to be a problem connecting it. It lights up. So it must be booting, so let me get this in here as quick as possible. Okay, there's no signal. Let me uh, try to get this, the port done. Okay, and there we go. Okay, one thing I need to do is I'm going to take off my uh, wireless keyboard thing, plug it onto here. Okay, and let's let's see how that goes. Okay, I think something has stopped. Grid show has stopped. I'm going to click OK. Okay, so let me let me see if I can set up um, my Wi-Fi. Again, this is all live. Okay, I think some I'm connected. If you notice, some of these uh, settings look very different than the MK802 setting situation. Um, let me just try to load the browser since I'm allegedly have an internet connection. Okay, if you notice the thin line on the top, it's loading in there. I do have a slow DSL connection, so let's see how it look loads from there. Okay, um, hopefully this is from my DSL and not from the unit itself. Um, I could actually, um, just to show that, that it can be the unit. I also have here a lap dock. And what I'll do is hook up the other one to that.
So this is the original MK802 units. Okay, so in the meantime, let's see what we have here. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the date and the time. Um, there's various apps. Um, let me see how the Google Play Store works. If you notice, this is still building up, just like I had it set up earlier. Okay, if I load the Play Store here. Okay, that's booted up at this point. Let me load a load browser. Okay. That's actually going through a different connection though. So let's do this. Okay, I'm not sure I connected, so let me try that again. I exited out before it we got to it. Okay, now it says it's connected. And if you notice that that, that setting takes a while as well. Okay, by the way, if you notice over here as well, there's Bluetooth, Bluetooth settings, as well as the standard Ethernet. Um, let's see what else do they have here. Um, some of the same same options as previous. Okay, um, if we look at data usage, for instance, or the devices and so on, we can get some of the same information. So if we look at, say, storage, okay, we have the internal storage. 500 megabytes, 65 for the ops, 2 gig available. Okay, we, we would get similar over here. By the way, I changed my pointer, so that's why this little green Android holding up a, a, a mini PC unit. If you notice, this has 0.98 for the internal. And this is saying 1.7. <clears throat> okay, so let me try to go to the, the Play Store. Okay, it wants me to set up an account. So, um, let me set that up uh, so I don't actually remember what my information was that I set up Let me see. You know what? I'm trying to create it. I should have used an existing one, I think. Okay, sign in. 